What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Phil. And today, we're going to talk about how to park in Bang Dream, which, of course, means uh, you want to get a very specific score in your event points. Um, you might have seen people who've gotten, like, exactly 20 million points or exactly, like, sevens across the board. They're just using the knowledge of game mechanics to get exactly the amount of points that they want. Now, keep in mind, this guide video will not be applicable to mission lives. If you want to park in mission lives, check the card um, in the video um, above. It should be up there somewhere. And you will have find a guide on how to park in mission lives. This guide will apply to parking in challenge lives, VS lives, and life goals. There is a great tool called bestery.com and it is essentially a website that has a computer algorithm and is able to figure everything out. So for these lives, using Best Story is your best friend. So we're going to hop on to Best Story right now. So here is the website, beststory.com. And basically, all you have to do uh, is you need to make a profile. So, you know, if you go on the account, um, you know, they'll have a login screen. And this is where you could create an account and such. So I've already done that. So I'm already logged in, right? So the one thing about Best Story is that it uses the amount of cards that you have. And by using a computer algorithm and the cards you have, it's able to calculate a specific score on which you are able to um, essentially get the score you want. The main thing is the cards. So you'll need to take the time to add cards in order for you to um, essentially have the most accurate depiction of how to park. So. You know, here's an example. I already have most of my cards here. Uh, there's a couple cards that I haven't added yet. So I'm going to do that. So here is a list. So you can essentially go in and check what cards you don't have. So for me, I don't think I've added the recent ones. So I'm going to just go quickly and add the ones that I haven't had. You know, this is a very lengthy process. Um, you just have to kind of do this uh, step by step and it will take a while. You could use the screenshot function and it's pretty good for me because I only have a couple of cards that I haven't added. So I'm just going to uh, quickly do that. Lion Dance Pressure. So pressure. There we go. Cool. You should also make sure that your items are set. You know, all your uh, area items are set correctly. So now the next step is to use their tool. And the tool in this case is Team Builder. So here there's an event. Uh, so in this case, it's the Nihao uh, touring the Smile map. So here you could decide how you're going to choose, you know, how to park. Now keep in mind, in parking in Bestory, they always want you to use Free Life. So you always want to click Free Life. And then the song in this case doesn't really matter. You know, let's choose like, I don't know, Cue My Flower. And then, you know, you could do an accuracy check, right? So basically you would write what song you want to play and what difficulty you want to play. So, you know, for instance, I'll play Cue My Flower. Uh, it's a short song, uh, relatively easy. Um, so I'll do the hard difficulty. And also, you know, you can play around with the accuracy. Generally, you want to kind of undershoot your accuracy because if your accuracy is too high, you have to like consistently hit that score and Best Story expects you to do that, which, you know, we're human and we're tired and, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. So, um, you know, I would generally try and focus on using lower difficulties and lower accuracy uh, to kind of give you a little bit more uh, leniency. Uh, the cards and items, as you know, it's going to take directly from your profile. And then calculate, all we do is we press park. So right now I'm at 206541. So let's say I want to get 206900, right? It's a nice number, right? Nice. So right now I have 206541, uh, and then the other one I'm going to put is 206900. Uh, um, so I have 206541. The target EP is 206900. You can calculate, and you can see that there's a couple of paths that you can choose, right? So as you can see, it says that game one to game four. So I have to play four times Cue My Flower. I have to achieve a specific score. And the score in this case is between uh, 1,050,000 to 1,074,000, right? So as long as I get that score and use this exact team with um, the area items that they have, then we are able to park. So we're going to change this team here. Uh, the spreadsheet says I should have the Misaki in the front, uh, the Kaoru on the left, Akko on the right, Ron, Mitake, uh, that one, yep. Yeah. And then uh, Saya 
on the far right. Then it also says that I need to have uh, specific area items. So I need Hello Happy World, I need Powerful, and I need Visual. So I'm gonna click that and we should be good to go. Fast Story says that my BP, my band power, should be 203160. After you check, yes indeed, it is 203160 as according to Fast Story. So now you could go to the song that you want, which in this case is, for me, is Cue My Flower Hard, it's over here, okay? So again, a couple things you have to check, right? Make sure your team is correct, make sure the band power is correct according to Fast Story, and just kind of give an idea of what score you want. So in this case, my score is anywhere between 1,550,000 to 1,075,000, right? The last thing you want to really make sure to check is your flame count, okay? So your flame count has to be at zero for parking to work. Um, and this is something you would indicate in best story as well. So right now I have one flame. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the game and then, um, you know, leave because I don't want... Uh, I don't want that to happen, right? Because the flames will add a multiplier to a score, and we don't want that. So we're just going to cancel and try again. Before you go into any live, make sure you check your flames, and just make sure you keep the uh, park score in mind. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm, I'm approaching the end of the song. So you can eye your score very closely, right? And just make sure you keep the one, uh, the score you have in mind at heart. And just kind of look in the glance of the eye and just make sure you're approaching it. So I'm already there. I'm just gonna hit a couple of notes so I don't die. And yeah, so there you go. So for me, again, because um, I put my accuracy a little lower than I usually do, um, you know, you have a little bit of freedom and a little bit of flexibility to just kind of make sure that, you know, in case that you're going to overshoot your score, you could not hit as many notes uh, in order to uh, get the score you need. So you see that score was 206615, and that's exactly what it says on Best Story. So I am on pace right now to do well. I was game one, so now we do game two, game three, and game four, and then I'll be back, and we will do the last park according to Best Story. All right, so um, this is my fourth game, and as you can see, I played four games, and now I've hit uh, each point. I've gotten uh, 74, and now I'm at 206, 8, 3, 7. So according to Best Story, I need to do a slight modification uh, on my team to make sure I could get the last score I need. So we're going to do that right now. So according to uh, Best Story, we are going to now... Um, have Tomoe, my uh, four-star pure Tomoe in front, who is here. Um, Ron Mitake is now going to be over here. Um, Ako is going to stay, Saya is going to stay, and Kaoru is now in the right spot. Um, they also say that my area items have to be uh, Afterglow and Powerful and Performance. So we're going to do exactly that. Okay, check your calculations and make sure uh, that your band power is correct. The easy way to check the band power is just click multi live 206320. That's exactly what it says on Best Story. So the final calculation for me is to get uh, 1,075,000 points to 1,099,000 points. So anywhere between there. So again, this is the last game before my wanted number, my park essentially. So this game is very critical. So you have to really make sure you are uh, paying attention and doing the right thing here. So again, check flames, I have zero flames, and also remember the score, and keep that in mind. Last game, here we go. Okay, so again, last game, we're looking at the score here in the top left corner of my eye, and just eyeing for that score that I need, um, and just kind of keeping that in, in mind. So I think I'm almost there. And then again, of course, I can also purposely play poorly at the end to make sure I sit there. Uh, of course, you know, you can always just pause the game just before you go in, just to make sure and confirm that your score is good. In this case, I'm pretty confident that's the right score. So there's my score there. And... Nice! We got the park. So, that's basically how you park in um, Challenge Lives, and this is also how you park in VS Lives and Live Goals. So Best Story is your best friend. Um, that website is able to basically help you calculate anything. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below on the video and I'd be very happy to help. 
Uh, of course, uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to this video. And of course, this is uh, coming from a Twitch VOD, so appreciate it. Follow on Twitch as well. With that said and done, thank you all for watching this guide.